We're doing a Harry Potter food crawl. Let's get mad. Hello everyone, I'm Jay. And I'm Sam. And what you can hear behind us is Hagrid's Magical Creatures Motorbike Adventure. <laughs> because we're in Hogsmeade to do a food crawl of all Harry Potter food. We've talked about this for a while, uh, but I think that today was finally the day we decided to go through with this, Sam. But I think we're focusing on snacks. Yes. Uh, well, they, everything here is pretty much cooked. So there's no actual sit-down restaurant. Uh, there's two Harry Potter lands here in Universal. One is Hogsmeade, located in Islands of Adventure. Uh, here you have three broomsticks, which is a good service option. You also have Diagon Alley, which you can access via the Hogwarts Express and is located in Universal Studios. There, they have the Leaky Cauldron, but they also have numerous spots throughout here where you can find some snacks, right, Sam? All the butterbeer carts, honeydew. Yes. Yeah, so we definitely have to start off with the butter beer. That's a classic. We've had that before. Uh, also, you've read Holly's article, right? Yes, I'll link that below because she has an extensive list of her, you know, top items. Yeah. We're not going to be able to try all of them, but there are a lot we haven't tried, like deep pasties. Mm -hmm. uh, and there are, There's also a cauldron cake yes. that we've never had. There's an ice cream shop actually inside Diagon Alley, which uh, we've We've no frequent, we've been there before, and there's some ice cream that we're definitely gonna try. As usual, rate everything 1 to 10. Are you excited to eat Sam? I'm very hungry for lunch, so I'm ready to start. If you enjoyed the content, please like and subscribe. Join us for our Harry Potter food crawl at Universal Studios Resort. All right, so we stood on the long line at the Butterbeer car. It wasn't that bad. <laughs> well, it was like a, you know, it, it's, they, it's lining up pretty wait. long. Yes, it's definitely worth the wait. Uh, so we got the two types of butterbeer that you can buy. Well, it's actually three types. They have a warm butterbeer or a hot butterbeer too, but I don't think they're offering so it. Good. Yeah. No, it, I think you can get it. Oh, where? Somewhere. I'll figure it out. <laughs> but uh, I'm Sam is look it up. Okay, well, we'll look it up and we'll uh, we'll verify that. Sam is drinking the cold butterbeer. We also got a oh the frozen. It's hot, I so yes. I wanted frozen. I got the standard cold. This is an eye for me. It's good. But if you don't like butterscotch or caramel, you will hate this drink. I'm gonna try both of them just to reiterate. I, I think I usually like the non-frozen because you get more of the cream when you take the sip. Uh, but uh, I'm gonna compare both. Double fisting butterbeer. Non-alcoholic butterbeer, even though beer is- I in. have a brain freeze. This is a staple. Like, I don't know how you could flat. come here and not get, here, get this. It's flat? Yeah. on your lips. Take out my cream. With this, you have to like, to get the cream in, you gotta sip the cream. I agree with like your nine, if you sip the cream first. You just want that. It's just like a, uh, what do you call What's the type of soda that they use in it? Like a frozen um, a cream, cream soda. soda. But I'm also gonna give this a nine too. So I guess I can't really pick. My favorite. I, I think this because it's for convenience. Yeah, you could definitely like drink that faster. Mm. All right, Sam, it is time for the cauldron cake. So Located at Honeydukes, we found this inside Honeydukes. This is like silicone. This is like, you could keep this. Yes. Keep safe. It, 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 I thought it was edible. It's not. <laughs> and, um, Try to eat it. Try to eat silicone. <laughs> it, it comes in a pretty cool box, too. It does. It's like someone of a collector's. Now, do you know what's inside it, Sam? It's a chocolate cake. Okay, with like some frosting on top. Moist. I'm, I'm big into to high sugary frosty frosting things. Oh man. We're just uh, piling sugar on sugar with that butter beer in this. I'm, I'm okay with it. Let's this. go. The cake is really moist. What would you give it, one out of 10? I would give it a seven. Yeah, I think, yeah. I mean, I haven't eaten it yet, so it, it looks like a seven to me but I gotta try it. You know, in hindsight, I'm happy this isn't edible because I feel like if it was, it would stain your it teeth would, well, it'd be melting all over yeah. the place how hot it is. And I was like holding it in my hand. How could it be yeah. edible? <laughs> it's a good chocolate cake.
trying to get that bottom. There we go. Very good. I said the same thing. I agree with your seven assessment. This is definitely a seven. Oh, okay, it's in a cool heirloom. If you want to yeah, have and that's also where you can get chocolate frogs and fudge flies and yes. birdie bots. I love the aesthetic in Honeydukes. Yes, it's just a fun place to hang out. And if you don't even want to eat anything, just take a little peek in there. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, good stuff. All right, so this is the shepherd's pasty pie. It's actually at the stand that has like a lot of the fresh market type of food, like fruits and stuff, right next to the castle. <laughs> I'm a fan of shepherd's pie. Not bad. You don't see that It's very hot. I give it like a six. I, get, I like it. I like it. You know, it's like a novel game. But it's like, what, 10 bucks? Very tiny little thing. All right, we just rode Velocicoaster. I know, not very Harry Potter themed, but it's probably my favorite coaster ever. So we had to get on a ride for that. I lost my scrunchie. It's, it's a fast. Take your scrunchies out. Don't lose your scrunchies on Velocicoaster. Under normal circumstances during a Harry Potter crawl, we would take the Hogwarts Express. But it, it is very packed today. There's like a cheerleading competition. Hogwarts Express is like 45, 50 minutes. So we're just going to walk to Universal and Diagon Alley. Finish out our crawl there. Our goal today is really to eat at places and things we haven't had much before and not do the two um, quick service kind of... They're, not, they're sit down dining, but they're more quick service. Um, Leaky Cauldron and Three Broomsticks. So, look for those beef pasties, right, Sam? And some ice cream. So, let's go to Universal. All right, Sam, we've made it to King's Cross. I hope it doesn't rain. It's not raining hard. Alley. It's like a light drizzle right now. Yeah, it looks like it's just a, we just got a rain cloud over us, I'm hoping. It is a little nice, actually, with the heat, so. All right, let's go inside. I just said we've never been to the hopping pot. Before. We hopped over to the hopping, <laughs> hopping pot. pot. Yeah, yeah, it's like you if you walk in, you like walk right past it. I feel like normally it's got like a big like a uh, barrel in front of it, uh, and and I was wrong. You can get hot butter beer all year, all year round. round. Hopping pot has it. Uh, Hog's head over in um, uh, uh, what's it say Diagon Alley. In uh, Hog's Mead has it. So hot butter beer on this 90 degree day. What else would you do? The hottest, so the hot is the best. I would give this a nine and drop the other two to eights. I actually agree with you. Yeah. That's really good. Like it's so good you'll drink, like I never drink hot stuff like <laughs> when it's hot out. I don't even drink hot coffee, like. But that's good. Also, these beef pasties we kept talking about. So. I wonder how they compare to the shepherd's pie ones. Yeah. Oh, these definitely look softer. Again, very warm. They taste like the shepherd's pie. The, I like these better though for the, the coating. How does that taste like shepherd's pie, but the shepherd's pie ones didn't taste like shepherd's pie? It tasted like shepherd's pie. This tastes a little bit more like shepherd's pie, if that makes sense. Doesn't. Um, I'll give these a solid seven. We got a show going on behind us, Sam. Nice. All right, so this is the uh, Wizard's Brew. I kept telling you I gotta try a beer here, right, Sam? So now's your chance. This is yes, this is the beer. The sun is it's like very dark beating on me right now. Makes this one. I definitely what? opt for this over the one in uh, Hogsmeade. It's like a nice snack. Yeah. Not, like, super heavy. Would you agree with my seven? All right. So Sam got the sticky toffee pudding. It's already melting. They they said either cone or souvenir cup. They were kind of Ooh, iffy on giving us normal pieces of the cake in here. All right. So we found a spot next to the Daily Profit. Uh, it, what was the name of the ice cream shop, Sam? Florian. Florentine? Florentine. I don't know how to say it. We'll put a lower third in with the actual correct name 
Sorry, we're not big Potter heads. We just, we do enjoy casual, Harry Potter. We're casual fans. Yes. Of this. Sam is now having their famous butterbeer ice cream. And it's not actually raining. They actually just have like a machine going on. It looks like it's raining. I really like butterbeer ice cream. I haven't had it yet this time. I will test it out. Eight. Eight? It's mostly vanilla and then it has like this caramel and like butterscotch curled yeah. in. So again, if you don't like caramel or butterscotch, you will not like butterbeer flavored items. What would you give the, uh, what was uh, the, the other thing you just had? The sticky toffee this pudding. Sticky toffee is good because I like how it had the pieces of like the cake in it. Yeah. And it's melting all over the place. One out of ten. Pudding. Also, notable mention, Carly likes the um, chocolate chili, right? Yeah, she speaks very highly of that one. I wasn't feeling adventurous enough for the chocolate chili. Actually, I wanted to try out these flavors first. We will come back for chocolate chili, though. I'm going to see you guys on ice cream. Someone else gets it. He was very happy with it. Mm. That one's good, and it's like, it tastes light. Mm. Yeah. Do we have any Controversial opinion. I'm not a big cone fan. I mean, I like the taste of a cone, but I prefer to eat a cone in a cup. I don't like using the cone as the mechanism to transport my ice cream. I'm not sure. I'm not sure anybody asked that question. I eat fast, <laughs> and the cone mandates I eat even faster. I don't understand the idea of cones. I enjoy. <laughs> my them, like, God, you're so angry. Flavor. I'm not angry. And, I just I just want you to know cone. why we're I pro cup. I like a little cone on top. She was very angry when you asked about putting the butterbeer ice cream in a regular cup. You know the option said? is usually souvenir cup or cone. Why? So. But they have those cups, so mm. I, I was confused. But... Yeah, I don't get it. This, um, both these I'd give like a nine. Oh, nine? Uh, actually, I'm going to go eight. I'm going to go down to eight. I agree with you, Sam. They're novelties, they're good. It's not like super fresh. I'm a big ice cream fan. I feel like every time we speak about ice cream, I always go high numbers. So I'm gonna stick with eight with these. I like the novelty of them. They're not like the freshest ice cream in the world. It's nothing from, you know, Italy. I would even put the caramel ribbon from salt and straw above this. But it's a nice novelty. And if you're a Harry Potter fan, definitely I would consider a must get. All right, so that does it for our time and this very packed day at Universal Studios Resort and our Harry Potter. Well, we've decided actually we're going to do separate videos on Leaky Cauldron and Three Broomsticks because there was no way we were going to be able to fit this or fit those restaurants into this video. And they definitely deserve a notable, or, or a notable nod. I eat real food. Yeah, we've only eaten like sugar I mean, and I'm pasties. Cold, and... But... <laughs> what was your favorite thing we had? Um, hot butter beer. And I really like the sticky coffee pudding ice cream. Yeah, I thought sticky coffee ice cream was solid. Um, hot butter beer, oh, definitely. Oh, definitely, yeah. I got the highest number. So I think hot butter beer was the winner of the day. Pasties with a notable option as well. I'm going to go with their best savory, although we only had two savories. Cauldron cake. Cauldron cake was good. It's, it's a nice thing to be able to bring home. It's a very moist cake. It's not, um, even though you have a lot of that, uh, let's call it dressing, uh, icing. I have a lot of icing on top. Once you get, Once you dip in and mix it in, there's actually not too much icing. Uh, so I would definitely yeah, give a note of watch for the cake too. A solid food crawl. There was nothing bad that we had, uh, but I definitely think that the butter beers are probably the thing that you must get out of these things. And take a look out for the other videos we'll have be uh, that will be popping up on Leaky Cauldron and Three Brew Six. I haven't filmed them yet, but we were definitely going to be eating there. Just doing whole videos. I was like, what? Do you think these videos without me? Yeah, no. Uh, yeah, Harry Potter filled day here. If you enjoyed the content, please like and subscribe. Liking will really help our channel grow. Push this video out into the stratosphere of the YouTube algorithm. Helps other people find the video. Subscribing also helps our channel grow. Hit the bell notification. Oh, excuse me. So that way you're notified every time videos come out. Right, Sam? Every Monday and Thursday at 12 p.m. That beer's coming back up. Thanks so much for watching. Don't count the days. Make the days count. See you next time. That's all, folks. You get a flying broomstick, Sam. Yeah, I, actually, I'm going to knock the beer down in hindsight. Beer goes down to a six. As I got into it, like, I think it was just initially like, oh, this is a nice cold beer. I'm drinking hot butter beer. Uh, but the beer was fun. It was a good, like, novelty. But, yeah, six of a beer. We, yes, we will, we will be back, Harry Potter World.